You value not just. Like that boy, huh? Troy and Pickle are going all out to reclaim first place in an area that's been hunted by the Landrys since Cajuns first settled the swamp. Teach me French. Here we on a besoin de gros, gros cocodrilles aujourd'hui. All season long, we talked about winning these 350 tags. But when me and Mr. Troy get out in the water, we really try to take it all in and enjoy every season because you never know when it's going to be your last. There's a lot of history and stuff around here that you teach me. But my favorite thing is definitely the French. Try to get Mr. Troy to teach me as many French words as he possibly can in a season. And back when my mom was a kid, the kids would get in trouble in school for speaking French. And it was kind of like they cut that part of our culture out. And here in Pierreport, they kept it. It's going away. Like, my kids, they understand French. They know exactly what I'm telling them, but they barely ever talking. Yeah. I miss that part of my heritage. And so, by all means, I want to try to grasp that again. OK, listen, I could teach you French and all of that stuff, but after we, okay. we run our lunch, we got lunch to run. Yeah, let's go finish okay. them. We'll talk French later. I'm going to be your tutor. Oh, Lord. Hey, we look our line over there. Oh, yeah. Grab the line, see if you can pull him out with the pole. What we got, Pee Wee? Oh, Ooh, what That's we got? Good. It's a good one. You're going to load it? Yes. Oh! Go move the ball. Watch him, Pee-wee, watch him. Don't move the ball. Good job, Pee-wee, good job. Say, don't hurt her. One, two, three. A 10-footer on the first line is a boost of confidence and allows Troy to breathe a little bit easier. Got the first one of the day. You know it's dangereux. Say it again. Dangereux. 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 I want to learn everything that I can because just to get the opportunity to learn from Troy Landry, and it's not the name. It's his experience and his knowledge that makes me want to learn everything that he has to offer. Don't hurt her, it's dangerous. You're dangerous, but will you scare me? <laughs> Don't you I said I'm going to name you both. It's that point when it's like this. The last thing we need is to have a letdown. And today, we're catching way too many small alligators. You know, hopefully we can catch some big ones, because we used to catch a lot of big alligators right here. What we got here, Pee Wee? Oh man, a dead one. I don't see nothing. Oh, I lose my phone. Oh, I thought you said it was dead. No, don't look dead to me. Hold it, Pee Wee, hold it. God, Lord. Go on the ball. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh! Uh. That's it. He's gonna get it now. He bit my boat. Oh, you know that hurt his teeth. I can feel you. Shoot the damn thing! Bring him up, bring him up! What you talking about? Freaking John Wayne Jr. here. Another eight-footer in the boat threatens to derail their season at a crucial time. It wasn't too big. No. But that's all we're catching. You know what we're going to win with that? A goose egg. A last place award. We got to hustle. Hopefully, we'll catch a big alligator. 
We're trying to get them tagged. You know, I'm hustling as fast as I can, but they're slipping away. With time running out, Troy spots an opportunity to turn their day around. See, that's a little chicken tree right there. See all the little balls in it? Mm -hmm. Some people call them China ball trees. I call them an alligator tree. See birds. Birds land on them branches to look for little fish and crawfish. And the alligators know that, so they wait right there for them birds to land. When they land, they, they grab them. They deal in an area where there's a lot, a lot of China ball trees. They usually, they grow right on the edge of the water, and then they lean over the water because they got bigger trees behind them. So they lean over for the sun. And they're pretty strong and they're flexible. So I love setting lines on them. This would make a good set right here. Uh-huh. Let's do that. Let's throw us a handful of lines right here, OK? You go with that? All right. I hope this works, Pee Wee, because we're running out of time. It's a perfect setup for an alligator. I'm hoping that's going to help us out. What we got, Pee? What we got? I don't know. It looks limp, man. Nothing? I don't think so. Oh, wait, hold on. Got you? Yeah, hurry up. Hurry up, bro. He's a good one. He's oh. a good one. Good one? He's a good one. Ooh, it looks like a good one. Ooh, good alligator. Oh, no. Ooh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Ooh. Watch him, people. Watch him. Bring him Shoot. up. Bring him up. Ooh, watch him. Grab the gun. He's gonna pop that on. Put him, Pee Wee. Put him, Pee Wee. Put him! Good shot, Pee Wee. Good shot. All right, Pee Wee. Get it on to me. One, One two, three. Two. three. Mm. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> oh, that is this 10 foot gator is one more example of why Troy's decades of experience can be the game changer at the end of the season. Give me your knife. Kuto. Give me your kuto. We're finally starting to catch. We're starting to catch some nice alligator. And, you know, I'm, I'm thankful we're catching them, but it. Yeah, I kind of expected that's what we do. Turning ball trees is, uh, I love setting lines on them. That's how you get a 10 feet average. Mud! I know I'll never know the amount of knowledge that he knows. He's teaching me, and I'm learning, and I'm listening. I'm keeping my ears open. Mud! That's right. <laughs>